let's get to these rule changes. What are they? Like all this that we were fighting over, what exactly are they? Let's let's break this down. I'm going to break it down for you in um, very easy terms. Let's get up to um, graphic C, guys. What are the rules changes? Well, number one, it's a motion to vacate the chair by one person. Now, I, I just want to caution everybody. This rule has been in place for 200 years. Pelosi changed it when she took over four years ago. But prior to that, this one vote vacate was in the rules for two centuries and it was never implemented. So to me, that is, that's just, that's not worth the paper it's written on because if they didn't do it for 200 years, it probably means nothing now, but I, you know, that it is, it is what it is. You know, it's all good. Okay. Number two, uh, here's some really good news. Uh, three Freedom Caucus members are on the House Rules Committee giving the Freedom Caucus de facto veto power over any bill that comes to the floor. This is probably the best concession on rules that we got. Because you know what happens in rules, whoever the chairman is, if there's a bill that goes there and the speaker doesn't like it, what do they do? They do this in both state uh, state houses and Congress. They send it to rules where it gets buried by the chairman, never to see the light of day. So the, in my judgment, the most important concession that we got, that our movement got, was these Free Freedom Caucus members on rules that now have a majority to kick anything out of rules, even if the speaker doesn't want the bill to see the light of day. 